Welcome back to News 11 at 4 as we give you this live picture from Grafton, Illinois. It's our Aries Resort camera there as we check in again with meteorologist Jamie Travers. Jamie? Love that camera shot. It's always beautiful. It is. You get a great perspective of that beautiful part of this area. Yeah, even when it's cloudy, it's a great shot. Uh, we have sunshine though out there today. It's bright. It's felt good. We have had a little bit of a breeze, but we could use some rain. We really could. Things are just so dry out there. And this November, well, we are somewhere in that record setting uh, territory here. Uh, rainfall so far this month, 0.35 inches is it. That's almost three inches below normal for November. And so far it is the third driest of uh, it's the third driest month to date 2.62 inches uh, in October. So actually uh, last month we did have some decent rainfall. That was the 36th wettest October on record. And not only has it been very dry, but it's been pretty mild. We have had above normal temperatures for much of the month. We've had a few cold snaps here or there, obviously, uh, but it looks like that trend, that signal for temperatures, even next week, past this week, showing a good signal for above normal temperatures for really a lot of the country. So this could be a trend uh, that we see lasting well into the month of December. Waterloo, Illinois, look back in time. We have had some high clouds come and go. It's going to be a beautiful sunset with those high clouds in place. You can already start to see that shaping up in Waterloo as that sun gets lower on the horizon. Budget heating, cooling and plumbing rooftop camera here in Maryland Heights also showing some of that high cloud cover. Another view from Maryland Heights showing still some of that blue sky or some of that filtered uh, sunshine. We still have ongoing 57 degrees. That wind still sustained out of the south at 10 miles an hour. The gusts have eased a little bit and the trend through the rest of the afternoon into this evening will continue to be easing winds out of the south, eventually shifting to more of a westerly direction overnight tonight. We have had thicker cloud cover lingering in some of our eastern counties and that warm front also still trying to slide east of these areas. That's why we have been cooler. Mount Vernon, Carbondale, Effingham temperatures held in the 40s, even Litchfield, where the rest of us are still in the 50s and even the low 60s Cook Station. The farther west you get, a little bit milder air of air you tap into. A little bit of spotty green showing up on radar. I suspect that didn't make it to the ground. We're very dry at low levels, so it's going to be hard for precipitation here over the next few days uh, if any were to develop to even make it to the ground level. You can see those some of those pockets of high clouds that we've been seeing. That spotty shower activity east of the area is out ahead of that warm front that continues pushing east. We are going to have a weak front come through overnight tonight. It's not going to do much. It is going to bring a wind shift. It's going to slow down that warming trend a little bit. We're going to see mostly clear skies though overnight tonight and then for the day tomorrow more cloud cover. Temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler, still above normal, just a little bit cooler. We could maybe have a few spot showers across northeast Missouri, but it's really just not looking good, uh, likely for rain. Again, we're very dry at low levels of the atmosphere. 40 degrees for the overnight low. Good news. That's not as cold as what we woke up to this morning. We're going to see that extended forecast showing 70 degrees on Thursday. The record on Thursday set in 2012 was 75, so we still look like we're going to be shy of that by a bit. Friday, a touch cooler, but still well above normal. It's beginning to feel more seasonable for the weekend, and we do have a chance. It's not a great chance, but we do have a chance of at least a little bit of moisture on Sunday.